Jock Ninobas, pre-market coach, and Lukan Yu Am are on our media conference today. Um, yeah, please uh, fire away your questions. We've got about 10 minutes. Yeah, how would you sum up what you ran into out there? Um, I think the first, uh, if I have to summarize it, I think the start uh, probably wasn't ideal for us, and <laughs> obviously, uh, I've, 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 let me just, Sorry, guys. Uh, no problem. guys, can everybody please mute your cameras, I, I mean your microphones, thank you. Um, yeah, okay, the first 20 minutes, I felt, yes, we, yeah. We, we struggled to, to get into the game because of poor discipline. I think the first 15 or 20, we gave away four consecutive penalties. Uh, we made a lot of mistakes. So obviously errors put us under pressure and uh, the quality side that New Zealand are, they capitalised on that. And uh, then we played catch-up rugby for the rest of the game. Did it surprise you? That looked like a lot, a lot of eyeballs. Did that tactic surprise you at all? No, it's similar what they did against Argentina, it's similar what they did against England, similar what they did on the end of year two. So, so we knew that was coming. Um, yeah, we just couldn't handle it. What lessons? Well, you can't start like that. You can't start with that many uh, penalties and errors. And, and that's probably due to, I think some of them were unforced from our side, but uh, some of them were from the pressure that they exerted on us. So I think, yeah, if you if you're going to play catch up rugby, I think in in the World Cup from now on out, uh, it's tough to get a foothold in. I, I'm, I must say I'm, I'm proud of the guys uh, how we came back. I think what was the halftime score? I think it was 23, 17 points. So I think we scored what was the end score? 20 for us. So we scored 17 in the second half, so we actually got a little bit back into it, yeah, but unfortunately we let it slip in the first 20. Uh, sorry, sorry, knock-ons? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I th I yeah, I think there was, yeah, and, and I, I think if you talk to any rugby player, they don't go out there to knock the ball on. You know, maybe a little bit of over-eagerness, maybe, maybe some of them haven't played for a while, you know, so that's why we tried to get the balance right. I thought the guys that played actually last week came on in the second half and they were a little, you can see they a little bit more battle hard and they've been exposed to rugby, not looking for any excuses. We weren't good enough in the first 20. Um, but like I said, we we battled our way back into it at the back end of it. Jack, did you see much different from the All Blacks this year compared to last year? Um, I think yes. I know they were under pressure last year, probably from 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 your, their media. But we always thought the quality side. I think if you look at the uh, the performances they delivered at Alice Park last year, and if you look what they did uh, then after that in the rugby championship, winning the rugby championship, a quality side. Uh, even on the interview to a quality side, you know. So they they a top notch team. Um, yeah, like they showed tonight. Jack, talking about squad strategy, bringing 13, 14 players over here. You clearly got a, a bigger goal in mind. How yep. significance did you place on this game in terms of what it means for the rest of the year? No, yes, obviously we wanted to, to win this game. And we felt, um, I mean, for us travelling back, um, I mean, the guys who came back from, 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 uh, from South Africa, I think they only arrived here on Tuesday morning. I think, Luke, you guys probably one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, on Wednesday morning. Uh, no, Tuesday morning, eh? Mm. Yeah, Tuesday morning they arrived. So we felt that that having a couple of guys here that 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 probably over the the that would be better adapted to 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 the time zones w would give us a better chance. And we we knew, I mean, like I said in the press conference on Tuesday, there's pros and cons to both. Uh, the pro is they get over the jet lag, they're fresh. The con is they haven't had exposure to international rugby, uh, which the other guys have. So, uh, and uh, that's the strategy we went uh, went with. Uh, we did the same in 2019. You know, um, like I said, probably nothing. The the, the 
you can't put a f the, the the performance wasn't because of that. The performance was in the first twenty minutes we just made too many errors. Sorry. Yes, I'm not sure. I didn't speak to the doc afterwards. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I, so I would lie. Jack, could you just speak to the, I guess, the character, the mid-match mentality that you had going into the game? Yeah, could you just speak to the, I guess, the character, the mid-match mentality that you had going into the game? Yeah, look, that's, um, yeah, but from my side in terms of that, I feel it's quite personal. I, I, I'm not walking in his shoes. I don't know um, where he's at mentally. I mean, that's what probably, you, he must. That that is his question to ask. All we could do from our side is uh, is just support him as much as we can. Um, uh, in terms of uh, the performance we wanted to put out, and and just support him as much as we can. Uh, but yeah, he's a he's a brilliant guy, and and it just shows how much the Springboks mean to him. You know, but in, I don't want to go too much into. The family and how much it, and how big it is for them. Um, uh, um, we we had this uh, yeah a couple of, we had an, another player at the same uh, who's going through the same thing and I spoke to Ian before and I think uh, uh, already had the same scare during the week. So. Sean, Klein John Klein. Uh, yeah, no. Listen, he's yeah, he was been awesome for. He was very good for us last weekend. And John Klein, uh, I mean, myself and Russi, we worked with him uh, since our days at at Western Province and Stormers. You know, so we we know him quite well. When we left to Munster, we took him to Munster, and then obviously he became a project player over there. And and Joe selected him to go to to the World Cup in 2019 for Ireland. And um, it's funny we, we we were actually against the 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 change in in regulation eight, uh, but yeah, it worked for us in terms of John and happy for him uh, to to play for us. A dream come true for him. Shaq, with the split squad strategy, um, how much more disappointing was the start tonight? Perhaps you expected a better start, you know, from your fresh guys. Yeah, like I said, it's it, it's it's a little bit of both uh, pros and cons. I mean, the guys, I, I we yeah probably in 2019, similar thing happened. The guys who wasn't exposed to 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 Australia uh, in 2019 at Alice Park, they we were also chasing the game at the back end of the game, and then we scored in the last minute, I think, and kicked the ball over to draw to draw the game. So the guys who came on who was actually exposed and battle hardened. Uh, they and, and that's why we decided not. I think in 2019 we we basically had 15 guys here, and that's why we decided not to to go with a full 15 fresh guys staying here. We we wanted to mix it up a little bit. Uh, so it's it's uh, we knew that's the pros and the cons to it. Uh, no other questions from you. Okay. Uh, guys, let's start one or two from uh, from SA. Can you just see what you have? Can you see? Um, what do you mean by the fact that you didn't even have a clear? It was a string of castle pants. The general oldest colors here, because of Mammy, you should have lower tea. Um, no, I, I think such things are just so kind. Maybe they will not just make a pass go to the land. Uh, Discipline here to be a year's out nice as far the pass go to the land. Uh, Namatuba go above for many good turnovers. Uh, Namatuba above for many Gumbaza Mosaic. Uh, and I think Musugula up or go best pass go to the land as some of the game. Kate? Um, I mean, I know the Kremlin is not a first time playing when, when you made that change there with, uh, when uh, Magazola went off and, and um, Mani went on. But did you not find that uh, that change perhaps disrupted a bit what you were doing at the back line there? And they had probably thinking behind it. Um, yeah, we, we basically wanted to get Mani in the mix. And uh, Luki has played for us wing uh, numerous times, I think. Uh, 
big games that, uh, is one for us there. Uh, British and Irish Lions. He, play, you know, he played for us wing at British and Irish Lions. He played last year wing for us there. So it was something that we, we it's always at the back of our head uh, and that we prepare for. So we just felt uh, to get a little bit more uh, to get money on the park and use our old bench and, and trying to get back into the game, uh, we felt to, to go with that, uh, that move. Ja, Hendrik, ik denk niet, ja, defensively was het niet goed geweest nie. Um, ek denk ons het te veel tackles gemis. Vooral eerst die eerste vijf, ek, ek denk in, in die eerste vijf minuten het ons omtrent zes of zeven gemis. Uh, en, en ja, ons het gesikkel om hulle hoop balle te hanteer, wat eindelijk uh, twee, twee van ons sterker punten is. Uh, so ja, ons sal moet gaan kyk, en, uh, ja, ons sal dit definitief moet verbeter, ons sal nie, ja, sal dit moet verbeter. Uh, let's take two or three more questions, then we're done guys, uh, Ken? Thanks, Sina, uh, how's it, Latanya, how's it, Jacques? Eh, <coughs> uh, Jacques, after the, the performance last weekend um, would have ticked a lot of boxes for you. Um, the performance today, does this now raise a lot of question marks for you going forward? No, I think that that was the whole idea, uh, Ken. It was, uh, um, we we decided to go with the, the strategy um, and uh, the one that we, we, we did and everybody got a, a little bit of a, everybody got a, majority of the guys have got opportunity to play and we've got two more games one more game that's going to count for rugby championship and then obviously three warm-up games so uh, our plan was always to be to win the rugby championship uh, and but to assess so we've got four more games uh, to make sure that we get our house in order before we go to the world cup so we got good answers yeah both games Sanele and then uh, Brendan and then we, we will uh, wrap it up guys. Sanele. Okay, uh, Brendan, let's go to you. Uh, Zina, I'm going to ask you a for us, Jacques. Um, so you said that was the slechtest to begin on the book books from the game that I was going to Nee, met die skop kijk, hoe denk jy dat jy dat so gesikkel om, om die hoopballe te hanteer? Um, yes, uh, ek, ja, die, die, uh, ek, ek weet nie of dit die slechtste begin was nie. Uh, ek denk, dit, dit het al van tevore gebeur. Ek denk ons het laas jaar op Ellis Park het ons net so, het ons net so begin gehad. Jy weet, waar ons nie, ons, waar ons foute gemaakt het en waar ons nie ons geleend die gebruik het nie. Ek denk, uh, as, jy, as jy vat, uh, Cheslin sy drie, ons was oor die doellijn met Cheslin sy, sy drie en, en daar was sy aanslaan gewees, Eben was oor die doellijn en hy is opgehou, so weer eens, jy krij, as jy ten die All Black speel, krij jy, vir, krij jy min geleentede en jy moet die geleentede gebruik en ek voel ons het, uh, wel, ons was oor die doellijn, ons, uh, ons, ons het net nie punte gekry daarvoor nie, uh, en dit amper die celle, ek voel, uh, of dit, dit was amper myself, die celle script, kan ek maar sê, as wat gebeur het op Ellis Park, ek denk ons in die wedstrijd was ons drie keer oor die doellijn, uh, waar het ter uh, uh, reg nie uh, um, toegestaan is nie. So, um, ja, ons, um, ek, ek weet nie of die slechtste begin is nie, ek weet nie, ons het net een paar uh, onnodige foute gemaakt in die begin. Um, en, en, en geen, en, in termen van die skoopspel, ek denk hier al geen een ou uit, uh, om, om een bal te naak nie. Ek bedoel, dit is maar net, uh, ongelukkig het, het, het het gebeur, en ons sal net harder met werk en seker maak, uh, laat ons beter doen uh, in die toekomst. And then we'll take the closing question from Greg Ray. Thank you. Well, actually, uh, Jacques sort of answered that. I was just going to ask about um, Ellis Park. It was a similar start. Um, yeah. Is that a worry, though, Jacques? Just the, the trend of these slow starts, particularly, I think, in these high intensity games, you know, against the All Blacks or whatever, it seems to be becoming a thing now. 
Yeah, I'd, well, if you say it's becoming a thing, okay, it didn't happen last weekend. Uh, it didn't happen against England. It didn't happen against uh, Italy. Um, maybe, maybe France, maybe Ireland. Uh, um, you, you, so, so I don't think it's a trend. I think it, it, it's something um, nobody goes out to have a poor start. You know, you, 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 don't, you don't go out and say, listen, guys, let's save ourselves for the second half. Uh, so, I, I, yeah, it's just sometimes it happens. And some, I think the, the, the thing is, if you make a mistake uh, to get over that quickly, move on to the next, uh, get a positive uh, involvement again in a game is, is something that we will just have to get better at, you know, because sometimes you're going to start a game and you're going to make mistakes. And uh, you must put it behind you and, and then just go on and fire the next shot. Thank you, Jacques. Thank you, Lucky. Uh, guys, uh, can I please ask you to stay online? Uh, we'll bring two players for mix zone um, in a different area, so just hang team, please. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much.